Hello and welcome to our Red Flags presentation. Our aim here is to provide education on some of the screening questions that get asked in that first face-to-face -face consultation when you go to see a physical therapist because of a pain issue. Red flags are essentially indicators of risk that are reported by an individual. Taking into consideration their medical history and current presentation that will require urgent medical investigation. Red flags are a term that we use to describe a collection of symptoms that when described to us indicate that the cause of pain, fatigue, swelling or other symptoms don't fit the typical musculoskeletal patterns and therefore require further investigation. In our clinical experience, the number of people that have walked through our doors with true red flag symptoms are small. However, if a physical therapist refers you onwards before starting a physical therapy plan, then it is because we would like a serious pathology to be ruled out before a physical therapy plan can begin. So further investigations may include blood tests, x-rays, MRI scans. It really does depend on the individual and their symptoms. Sometimes a person doesn't present with any red flags, but they won't respond to physical therapy, treatment and self-management strategies, and so this needs to be investigated further. Therefore, if your symptoms are not resolving as we believe they should with the treatment plan, further investigations may be needed. If a client does have a pathology that requires medical management or even surgery, then often a therapist can help you once you've received a diagnosis and any primary treatment. For example, you may have received a diagnosis, you've been given the correct medication to help manage your symptoms, and the consultant or doctor has advised that you seek treatment from a physical therapist to support you with the strengthening program, as well as any advice on how to manage and pace your daily activities. So, because we are not face-to-face -face with you going through our screening red flag questions at the initial assessment, we don't know your particular history or symptoms, and we can't monitor your progress throughout the treatment plan, like we would if we were in clinic, we decided that we would like to provide you with a list of the screening questions that we ask our clients. Before you read through the list, I would like to make you aware that the list is not exclusive, but we have tried to include as many of the red flag questions as we would in our clinical practice. Secondly, if you do have any of the following symptoms, then we'd strongly recommend that you try not to worry, but do make an appointment with your GP or seek urgent medical advice it is better to check and to be reassured. So you'll see in the following slides that we have included some of the red flag questions. Please do pause the video to read each slide in your own time. So if you do have any of the previous symptoms or a collection of the symptoms, then please try not to worry, but do make an appointment with your GP or seek urgent medical advice. It is better to check and to be reassured. Thank you for listening and we hope that you found this useful.